Man, the biggest holdings of AMC are like BlackRock and other mm-hmm. giant hedge funds. The big, I don't recall yeah. off top, but these a lot of this stuff, uh, the, most of the, like like even Doge, and when there's like two months of of uh, just kind of like that week after week of kind of weird retail stuff in the media, yeah. in the media labeled as retail, which I I know there's a lot of retail people yelling about it but i also believe that obviously there's other big whales for lack of a better term big players that are yeah, I agree. one holding it up and two using it <laughs> and pushing it through retail yeah. but I, yeah. I don't know who am i you know conspiracies uh, yeah. go get some apple go get some microsoft go get it go get an index fund <laughs> that's not for me you know i'm trying to build wealth quickly well you know the the most people that have the most wealth aren't trying to build it quickly, you know. Yeah, I realized that too. So. And and what uh my my uh my my guy Ian Dunlap always says who, um, you know, in the space for a while made a uh, killer off of long term trading, investing rather, and um a little yeah. future in there, you know. Um, but all these all these people that have have kind of siphon into young people's mind um of like you know quick flips and all that are are just kind of using them to get them out of holding for long term and getting freaking 100k return on on stuff you know yeah that's not i'm not looking for that type of money i just my my philosophy is you know i'm not 18 yet you know so even if i do lose all my money right now once I turn 18, I'm going to be able to, you know, start affording to put some of that money back into the markets and for more long-term investing as well. If I was 18 right now, I would put all my money into these guys and VLO. And then five, dude, if, from 18 to my age right now, if I did that, yeah. 